All right, this is gonna be a tutorial for the supinated tricep pushdown. So, supinated, pronated grip is forward, neutral grip is uh, here, and then supinated, palms facing towards us. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the cables, we're gonna take our supinated grip, take a half a step back just to get some tension on the cable, and we're gonna pull our elbows back and flex our triceps as hard as we can. And then from here, we wanna actually do the eccentric portion of the movement with our triceps, let our elbows come forward a little bit. Now it's important that you get your elbows behind your back as far as possible. And that's because you will be achieving, if you just do this right now, you'll notice that as you bring your elbow back and then you flex your tricep, it's gonna feel almost painfully tight. Um, that means you're achieving the fully shortened range of motion for your tricep. Um, and that's gonna give you a little bit more muscle activation, a little bit more bang for your buck, as opposed to doing kind of a bent over tricep kickback like that. If you're gonna do a tricep kickback, you might as well do that, but it's another, uh, another conversation for another day. Um, so again, get, taking our supinated grip, pulling our elbows back, flexing our triceps as hard as we can. Now, typically, this is not gonna be, for anybody who's remotely strong on any of their pressing stuff, you know, bench, overhead presses, this is not going to be overloading enough to really take your tricep training over the top. Um, even if you're kind of coming, you know, one, two, three reps short of failure. It's just not gonna be disrupting homeostasis enough. So I'll typically pair it with something like a close grip push-up. Um, as a pre-fatigue movement. So bang out maybe a set of 15 to 20 with these, come in a couple reps short of failure. I only use 25 pounds for that. And then I'll try to bang out as many push-ups as I can, getting one, two, three reps away from failure. That way you get a ton of metabolite stress in your triceps. Uh, you're gonna be activating all of those high threshold motor units that really are prone to grow. Um, but you're not going to be uh, trashing your joints the way you would in a really heavy close grip bench, dips, that kind of thing. So this is a really easy, safe way to get in a ton of high quality work for your triceps. If you need to find a place to train, go to gymspot.fit. Tell us where you are, what you're looking for, and we'll take care of the rest. Gymspot, the world's best gym locator.